I greatly enjoyed this instead of sitting in a crowded classroom taking notes and actually getting out and seeing new stuff. Yeah, I saw many things like maggots, ants, grasshoppers, frogs, uh, microorganisms in fact. Here at uh, Cedar Creek they have pretty much all the Minnesota um, biomes that we study. Back at Coon Rapids, we pretty much have pavement, and it's not a really good educational opportunity for that field experience, which is so critical for students to get energized about science and <clears throat> be out in the field and do what real scientists do. A visit to Cedar Creek for many of our students is a first experience with nature, a first experience with science, and a chance to really understand their place in the larger world. It allows them to get that really in-depth view and kind of connecting, oh, I learned this last week in maybe my math class. Like I learned some graphing and then I'm going to extend that and we're going to plot biodiversity of insects that we found in the prairies. Your eyes open if you see another thatch and colony right colony good word i'm pointing it out to your front okay so pretty cool stuff they always come away from this thinking this is just an awesome trip even in fact on this trip kids were saying this is the best trip i've been on i think i'll remember how beautiful the world is and why we need to preserve it for its natural resources and ability to make you think, where are we living and what are we living on? I really like walking through like trails and that stuff and seeing what, how untouched some of parts of the world are. There was a lot of different like environments, like there was bogs and the plains and everything. And I think that would really stick out to me because there was a lot of different animals that we saw there and it was fun. 